Hi, I'm here today with Baron Roth of Grow Design, a sustainable product design firm in Torrance, California. Baron, uh, if you could tell me about uh, your unique uh, reusable packaging solution, I'd love to learn more. Okay, thanks. Uh, this is a solution aimed at addressing the amount of packaging waste that uh, we are currently generating. And this came about through a grant from the state of California, their Department of Conservation. Uh, our client was originally Clean Agency. They have uh, since uh, the lead on the project has since uh, left Clean Agency and started uh, another firm, Innovation to Industry. And we are currently working with them as they have uh, obtained rights to the project. Uh, where the idea is instead of using a one-time shipping container that gets shipped either business to business or uh, business to consumer, the shipping container can be reused. And we worked with the state of California to help address the enormous problem of plastic water bottles. So we designed a solution that was made from recycled plastic water bottles that would do two things. It would provide a good product for, for that feedstock of material, but would also reduce the packaging problem that we currently are creating by the one-time cardboard carton uh, method of package delivery. So the idea is that you could ship uh, a variety of objects in a reusable container that uh, where we really uh, came in and our contribution was to the project was to design it in such a way that in addition to being a reusable container, it didn't require any unnecessary cushioning materials, but we would instead integrate the cushioning materials into the pack package itself. So instead of having to use styrofoam peanuts or those little air pillows, we would design the cushions to be in the container itself. And after uh, a myriad of uh, mock-ups and models moving through several different forms uh, of cushioning. We simplified it down to one sort of large uh, pillow, uh, refined that pillow even further by changing the shape and the, the, um, the way in which it protects the item, uh, patented um, this product, and are now looking to uh, find uh, appropriate uh, applications. So I'll show you how it works. Um, the whole piece is uh, uh, contained in here. The cushioning uh, is built into the product. Uh, you could take whatever it is you're shipping, in this case a book, and it's protected by the, the flex in the cushioning, and the, the object is protected and cushioned. When it's received at its destination, you take out the, the book, and reuse the package without any waste, no peanuts, no air pillows, nothing else, and it gets reused. The box itself, the, the container itself, can then be reused, or I'm sorry, nested by putting it in the position in which it was originally uh, manufactured and uh, can nest into a much smaller container. It can take a variety of objects. Here's a weird sort of shaped thing that you can seal up and it still, you can hear my water inside there, it still contains the, uh, uh, the object. So it's not just books, it can contain a variety of applications. That's the idea, is that you don't need a specific package, but one that's versatile enough. Uh, we're looking to beta test this now, working with innovation and industry to test this with automobile manufacturers as well as dental and medical um, supply companies. Awesome. Uh, do you have any other potential ideas on uh, how perhaps this can be used to, in the industry, perhaps for shipping industry? I, you said that, uh, told me earlier that uh, most likely it would be opaque, correct? Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, that's a good point. This is a transparent version in order to help illustrate the idea, illustrate how the cushioning works. Uh, but this would certainly be um, a opaque um, plastic so that the contents are 
concealed within and that there's no privacy issues and everybody feels comfortable shipping it back and forth. The labeling can then be applied on the outside. It can be sealed up with uh, either cable ties or an adhesive uh, to keep it from uh, opening up in transit. Would there be any possible uh, modification or, or similar design that would be applicable or best for retail packaging? Because there's a lot of concern about PVC in, in packaging and personally the, the amount of overprotection and <laughs> the, the poor user design of having to spend so much energy to open something up. So I was just curious if there's um, some type of retail or product enclosure aspect to it perhaps too. Not at this point. We, we recognize the PVC issue. We're trying to phase that out as, as quickly as we can. We're actually having number of different uh, calls about that, asking for help and trying to phase out PVC from, from packaging that, that needs to happen. There are alternatives out there. Uh, oftentimes it, it could involve rethinking how the product's distributed uh, entirely and, and really looking at it uh, holistically from a theft deterrent point of view. We love getting into solving those types of problems. This particular product uh, we think is going to be more of a business to business, business to consumer uh, type application, potentially even consumer to consumer, um, but probably not at this point uh, retail. Oh, that's great. Well, thanks for sharing your, uh, <laughs> your great product design with us, sure. Brent. Look forward to talking again. All right, take care.